and common to experience post-traumatic stress disorder when coming back from a stressful situation like a war. Such is the case with Sergeant James Martin, who is a Vietnam War vet. Apart from experiencing the struggles that come along with PTSD, he has also faced the struggles of trying to get help through veteran affairs. Um, regarding the benefits, we work with the VBA, but we don't provide the same services as VBA. The people who work in vet centers are licensed mental health professionals um, or folks who are masters or PhD level counselors. And the folks who work in the VBA um, have the same types of degrees and credentials, but they look more for um, things like, you know, do you want to go to school? Uh, do you need help uh, fitting, uh, outfitting your home with handicap accessible um, tubs, showers, ramps, that kind of thing? From November of 2007 through this last year, 2010, I never once saw anybody, a live person, from the Benefits Administration. I have requested in writing numerous times to meet with someone to sit down and discuss this case with an individual and was categorically ignored. And all these things are complicated by the fact that all these symptoms, like the PTSD symptoms, can lead to other symptoms, like depressive symptoms. And this is what we call comorbidity, that there are multiple diagnoses that can run together. Before I go to bed in the evening, I take a handful of pills. So um, you weren't joking when you said you take 20 pills Every single day. No, no. I don't know. Reporting for PAC News, I'm Angela Hernandez.